Ah, is this Scorpio I see? Is this Scorpio who seeks? Hello, sun, rising, moon, who are you, Scorpio? Either way, you're welcomed. Thank you for joining your 2019 yearly. Tarot scope, rune scope, oracle scope. <laughs> this is Palo Santo for atmosphere and for just having good vibe. Breathe in, breathe out. As I was shuffling, the energy was very, very focused and determined. And um, very non-hesitance. Now I'm talking about 2019, right? So who knows if you're already in that vibe or not. But generally I'm sensing you guys are just not taking any more bullshit from anything, from anyone. You are very particular um, with knowing what it is that you need, want, feel. And you're not afraid to show, say, ask, demand. This could be a very benevolent, positive thing. This could be a very uh, destructive thing. It really all depends on where you channel it and how you go about it. Honestly, Scorpio, I like it. This is the, the raw aspect of you, Scorpio. And most of your life, you've been told to tame, to feel less, to express less, to show less, to be less. Well, you are intense. And now we're starting to be like, wait, what? Why? If a vase is too small to contain me, I don't need to suppress myself. How about I just replace the vase? How about I push and stretch and expand my boundaries to have, say, less boundaries? Who said that there's something wrong with how I do things? Maybe there's something wrong with the perception of people around me. You know what? That's I, it, Again, all depends on who you are and your own specific narrative. This could be you, the ruler of your world, owning your powers and exerting them. And after years of learning how to transmute and control, now that you have attained the self-control, you can allow yourself to potentially be that powerful Scorpio slash ego right? The higher expression of the Scorpio. And instead of stinging all over to protect yourself, now you're just flying away. Diving down for brief moments for your hunt to get whatever it is that you need to get at the moment. And then soaring back up. I like this energy. I have I haven't not looked at the cards. This is from mixing the cards and from you know tapping into your energy. Now let's get to it to 2019. You ready? All right. Rune. Oh, Raido in the reverse. That's okay. Raido in its upright. First of all, it's the letter R potentially. Second of all, it could signify wrong movements, wrong journeys, wrong timing, wrong people. Meaning you need to be extra careful with whom you're spending your time with, whom you're sharing your resources, your knowledge, your abilities with. Being accurate. Not flying off to danger territories. If you're the eagle now, let's say, stay in your familiar environment. Don't stay on the ground stinging, soar, succeed, but stay in the environment. If you are, and this is this is a intuitive guidance from the rune. I haven't, let's see the remaining cards and I'll know the rest, but this might be just for someone specific. If you're considering this year of leaving something that is very meaningful, I would wait. I would try to change my behavior AKA from a stinger Scorpio to a soaring eagle, but not like leaving, 
soaring above this reading, above this year, above this place, or whatever this is that you might be considering of kind of um, breaking it down, uh, shattering it all. Don't. That's the, that's the uh, dangerous aspect of the energy I was sensing instead of the benevolent one, the destructive one. No. <laughs> Hold on. Three of Cups. Good. I like this. And Five of Cups. And the Hierophant. Okay. So for those of you who resonate with what I just said, focus on the good things that you have in the specific organization. You might be working for a specific organization. You're, you're a little bit losing your faith in it or something like that. Or you're just not feeling well in it. Focus on the good things that you have there and, the, and on the good things that it gives you. Raido in the reverse. Don't break away yet. And also, let's say you have a tempting offer from a different place. Read the fine print. Something is not... I would, I would stay currently anyway, at least. Maybe even three years. I see two to three years. Perhaps, again, if this is relevant to you, perhaps two years there might be a little bit challenging emotionally where you, you'll feel sometimes satisfied, sometimes not satisfied. Sometimes you're good, sometimes you're not good. But in the third year, it will be... It's almost like it's going to be all worth it in a way. Now, I know this is a very specific narrative, so bear with me. Also, because of Three of Cups and the Hierophant and the specific Five of Cups here in this Celtic uh, tarot, um... Some of you are getting married or some sort of celebration that has to do with the home or with the family or an institution. I would not break away from the system at this time, Scorpio. I don't feel like it's the time to do uh, extreme movements. Just what I said in the beginning, combine what you've learned and how to control yourself throughout the years with your new sense of identity and, and security and be somewhere balanced in the middle, okay? Because there's a lot of good to enjoy. I love Three of Cups to symbolize an entire year because this shows honestly, that there's more joy than sadness, that there's more celebration than distraught, that there's a, a really good group of people around you that is very benevolent and supportive and that the energies are good for you. And I feel like the only one that can stand in your way, Scorpio, is you and potentially ego. Now, if there are turns of events and shifts, I do in the reverse, that's sometimes what it symbolizes. The advice is positivity and maturity with the Hierophant here. Positivity and maturity and wisdom. Also, if some of you are staying at home a lot, a little bit upset, mostly focusing on your work, but other than that, don't want to be movable or don't have a lot of energy, the way to go about it is fake it until you make it. See friends, communicate, try to expand your horizons and your uh, social groups. Choose a smile. If you have a choice, choose a smile. Right? So be, be assertive and express your will with a smile. You'll get a lot more with honey, honey. A lot more with honey, honey. Okay, this is a very interesting beginning. I like this. Well, it's actually some sort of conclusion. But now, are we ready to go to January? Let's start. Let's start this reading, huh? Three of Cups, Five of Cups, and the Hierophant. Five, three, five. A lot of communication. Right, there's also communication, but it's in the reverse, right? So a lot of communication, a lot of movement, 
but you have to be very wise about it because I don't want Avaida to be in the reverse for you guys this year. And here's the thing about Avaida, it's the wheel. So if it's in the reverse, it can literally turn up, turn right back up in a second. So always be, think for the long term, right? So if things are not looking good at the moment, always remember that it's temporary and that positivity and good attitude and patience and wisdom and maturity will allow things to shift for the better. Yay! 